Hi, this is T.H. Culhane for Solar Cities and for Envisage Mercy, the Environmental Sustainability and Justice Club. Today we have a successful experiment. We are using a Bosch on-demand water heater to heat the water that is coming from this bucket to go through these PEX heating coils and into our digester to help us to make the biogas that we need. We were using this homemade heater and it was really inefficient. This as you can see was just a, a copper coil that was wrapped around these and we were using this uh, we we're using this grill and it wasn't doing a very good job so I went to Mexico and I got a on-demand hot water heater that is very energy efficient and if you look down you can see it's heating the water with the flame there now this is a natural gas heater and I'm using a propane bottle. The reason that I got a natural gas heater was because ultimately we want to use the methane that is found in our biodigesters to help heat the tank. But all that's available in bottle form here in New York is propane bottles. So I'm using a propane stove and the pressure isn't quite right. We could get it a lot hotter if we had the ability to uh, to adjust the flame, but we don't have that, uh, that ability with this. So we're using it the best we can. Uh, it still is working better than it was. I can feel the heat as I touch this here, and we're hoping that we can get this from 20.9 degrees up to 30. Now a couple things that we can improve upon this is because we were using this old heat exchanger we have a lot of hose that's losing a lot of our heat. So we can uh, shorten those hoses and come directly off of the heater and into the tank and that will certainly uh, save us a lot and we've got to do that. But it's, it's delightful to know. We didn't know if this would work because there was no way we tried lighting it here. I thought maybe if I lit a flame here that it would light. Turns out that that doesn't work. What it needs is two D-sized batteries. So we had to go and get D-sized batteries and put them in here and then it has an electric start. And when you turn on the water and you have sufficient water pressure coming through here, then it opens the diaphragm and lets the gas flow and then it ignites it. So we had tried it without D-sized batteries and it wasn't working at all. There's a switch here on this side that turns it on and turns it off. Uh, I don't know if I turn it off, there it goes out. And then if I turn it on again, you hear the clicking and boom, it ignites. So, oh, that's a lot better. That's a lot hotter, isn't it? Ooh. So we, we have this, um, this heater working now. Wow, that's one bright flame. I guess that's because I turned it high. Yeah. So much, much, much hotter. Oh yeah, it's getting nice and hot. Oh yeah, you can feel it. You can definitely feel it getting hot now. That's amazing. Oh. Okay, so definitely we have a, a success here. Much better to use the Bosch on demand heater than to use some makeshift heat exchanger. It's nice, it's so hot, I can't actually hold my hands on this anymore. Even this water that's dripping here is hot, and you can see it steaming down there. So we've definitely got a, got a really hot situation going. Oh, look at the steam coming out of here. Wow. Okay, mm -hmm. that should, uh, should have an effect. It's even hot coming back in to here. Ow! That's, that's boiling. So 
we got hot water, even in this whole bucket is, is hot water. So we got a real hot loop going on here, and hopefully that hot water is going to, uh, with all that steam you see, is hopefully going to get this thing moved up to temperature. Okay, so we'll get back with you. Looks like we can regulate the flame with this, as you can see. I just made the flame lower, and then that makes it a lot higher. And you can hear it boiling. So I can turn it down just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's pretty spectacular. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you for Envisage. We'll get back with you once we've determined how things are going. Okay.